Now, I hand you over the Ministerial uh, Policy Statement for the financial year 2023-24, which you are finalizing. General Mbadi, in his welcoming remarks, wasted no time in issuing a challenge to the nation's standards body, demanding a higher level of diligence in upholding quality standards. He highlighted the importance of a viable trade sector in safeguarding national security as a vital catalyst for the prosperity and stability of youth. He has articulated his commitment to channeling his energies towards government's ambitious goal of achieving a $500 billion GDP within the next decade. It was my, it was my first day in Parliament as Minister. And <laughs> I gave a very, very short maiden speech. And then what is coming up in BS, now the Afrotoxin uh, mm. uh, report came in. And obviously now, Afrotoxin is about quality. Yes. And you have, I heard somebody said quality control. Is it your way? Uh-huh. Uh, so quality control and NBS, we are watching you. Not only for the sicknesses you are causing Ugandans here by, uh, by sleeping on the job or, or being uh, partners in uh, Manyangaring. Uh, oh, Manyangaring. <laughs> So please, I will be watching those two areas because without those being uh, sorted out, you cannot export. We have joked around with quality, immature vanilla, we have a mature vanilla. Where is the quality control man? Does the ministry have the capacity to get down there? General Mbadi's assertion is not unfounded. In many parts of the world, trade has been utilized as a weapon of war. In light of abundant climatic conditions and promising trade prospects, General Mbadi assumes office with extensive experience having served on trade committee in parliament. He stands poised to steer the trade ministry to new heights. For me, uh, an amateur in trade um, at a uh, tactical and operational level, but I know how it links with the security at a strategic level, because it forms it's one of the elements that form the fourth instrument of power that states willed to relate with their citizens and uh, other states. That's why you are negotiating, making negotiations. Negotiating, having what? Because you must have something. Yes. Some negotiating cheap yes. to use for the other one to agree with you or disagree with you or something like that. General Mbadi's appointment comes at a time when traders are facing challenges such as high taxation and unfamiliar policies like IFRIS calling for government to rein in expeditiously. Nevertheless, Uganda's trade volumes have significantly increased, especially after its admission into the Africa continental free trade area. No, me, I'm uh, very easy to work with. You don't have to worry about me. I understand the strategic importance of this ministry for the security of this country. If you have money flowing into citizens' pockets through a good trade arrangements that allows proper or the improved the most domestic trade and then not only quantitative but quality products for export who will be out there to be convinced to go on the streets to go and demonstrate everybody's busy 
recently we took to Nigeria, we took to Mumbai, we are still opening other markets. And I was uh, in lead of that. The appointment of Genombad has been met with freshness within the trade ministry. Widely regarded as a timed and strategic move, his accession promises to inject new energy into the trade sector, fostering exponential revitalization and enhancing its vibrancy. I'm, I'm, lucky, I'm lucky to welcome you here. That when we are going to fight for this ministry, do fight the same as you are fighting for protecting this country. And at the same time, I can see you are already aware that the money used to protect this country comes from this ministry. Crispus, I need to UBC News.